welcome to the EE e. British Academy Film Awards. Thank you for joining us for this auspicious, star-studded celebration of cinema in all its forms, whatever that means. Um, I'm Graham Norton, your host for this evening, which means there's more than one Irishman here tonight that seems to go on and on. Now, <laughs> this is lovely, isn't it? Look at us, gathered here in the breathtaking Royal Albert Hall. Stunning, I think we can all agree. Well, maybe not Prince William. He's just looking a bit pokey, could knock through. Uh, Royalty's here, and why not? Because it's the BAFTAs! Tonight, it's the BAFTAs! The glamour, the excitement, the length. Um, now, I should add, uh, don't be too concerned tonight, because uh, you're in safe hands. I'm not going to be mean to anyone, because you might know in my other job, I'm a chat show host, which means, apparently, I have never seen a film I didn't really enjoy. <laughs> it's true! I loved cats. No, I did. <laughs> Not even joking. It was brilliant. Cats, but with hands. <laughs> so clever. I loved it. Yeah. <laughs> Prizes for acting. It's not that hard. Um, now. A huge thank you must be uh, made to all our American friends for making the effort to come here tonight. Because, you know, I know it takes ages to sail across the Atlantic, doesn't it? Yeah. You did, didn't you? Yeah, thank you for caring. It's the Eco Awards, ladies and gentlemen. This year, BAFTA have asked us to make sustainable fashion choices. Old clothes. Um, now, I have, no, I really have. Fun fact, this jacket is older than Florence Pugh. Um, I'm, I'm not even joking. It really is Florence. It really is. And it's so many young nominees done. It's fantastic. Not just Florence. Uh, there's Jesse Buckley, Taron Egerton, Sasha Ronan. You know, and I look at you guys, I look at you guys, and I can't help but think, oh, if only I'd been born 30 years earlier, I'd be dead now. <laughs> and not eaten away by bitterness and jealousy. Hey, 2019, though, what a year in film. I think it'll be remembered as the year when white men finally broke through. Yeah. <laughs> they did it. What am I talking about? We did it. <laughs> high five, high five. Um, yeah, it's a bit of chat about the old uh, white male privilege, and you can sort of see why. I mean, 11 nominations for Joker, which is essentially the story of a white man who makes himself even whiter. The uh, wonderful Jojo Rabbit nominated. What a film. An adorable, heroic child and a cartoonish monster. It's like when Greta Thunberg met Trump. Uh, <laughs> other great films nominated tonight. Uh, 1917, Two Popes and The Incredible Parasite. Oh, so good. It really is. I, I was thrilled to hear of Parasite's nominations, though at first I did think it was a new category for agents. <laughs> and, Brilliant was once upon a time in Hollywood, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, it takes a, it takes a nostalgic look back at the Hollywood of 50 years ago, and what we saw was a misogynistic, male-dominated industry resistant to change. Taking a nostalgic look back at 50 years ago. <laughs> hey, and the Irishman, ten nominations, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, also released on Netflix, prompting the director Martin Scorsese to implore people to respect the film by not watching it on their phone. And didn't really need to worry. I mean, whose battery lasts that long? 